Hey everyone, Mr. Cutton here. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use a radio button with a button group. Um, so first of all, I have a form here created using the NetBeans uh, GUI builder. And I have a label on it called LBL question. It says, do you like programming? And I have three radio buttons. Yes, no, and maybe. Um, so I have a small problem here. So if we run this, I'll demonstrate the problem. Here's our question. Do you like programming? The user can answer yes, they can answer no, and they can answer maybe. So the reason we would choose a radio button uh, for user input is so that they can choose one and only one of the selections. Uh, so right now, this is no good because they can choose as many of these selections as they want. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use a button group to fix that. So uh, over here in our palette, we can see that one of the options under swing controls is button group. So we're going to add this to our J frame. Here we go. Drag and drop. There we go. You see it doesn't show up because it's not a visible component. But if we look over here in our navigator, we can see that under other components, we have button group one uh, listed. And what I'm gonna do is actually change that variable name because we should always rename these uh, variables to be a bit more descriptive. So btn, uh, I guess btng, maybe button group. Uh, I'm gonna call this answer group. All right, so now the button group is exists, uh, and all we need to do is take our radio buttons and group them together. Uh, so if you click on your radio button here or up here, we can see over here in the properties window that one of the properties is button group. And so we just click, and there's the button group we created. And we're going to do the same thing for all of the radio buttons that we want in this button group. And that is possible to have a second button group to group if we had like another question that we wanted the user to answer over here. Uh, so I'll show you how this works. So do you like programming? Yes or no or maybe. Uh, so this button group is a good option to choose when the user can only choose one of a selection of options. Uh, if we did want the user to be able to choose more than one at the same time, then a checkbox would be a good choice for that. All right, so that's how to use a radio button and a button group in NetBeans. Hopefully you found